so Hurricane Sally just made landfall a couple of days ago as a Category 2, and it really left its mark down here on the Gulf Coast. I mean, there is a lot of damage. Uh, but with that being said, today is going to be the first fishing trip that we're getting in since that's happened, and we really don't know what to expect down here. But the target is going to be flounder. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a good flounder bite. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and launch the boat here when we get to the ramp, see if we can't catch them. Um, but make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to see all of our future content. We put out content all the time. So to make sure y'all can see that, hit the subscribe button. Also, the fish that we catch today, um, I will be putting out a video on Patreon of where we launched, uh, where we caught the fish. I'm going to show specific locations as to where these fish are at. Uh, so y'all will get to see that if you head over to Patreon and all that's done through Google Earth. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it, see if we can't catch some fish. fishing right up around this pocket right here I mean areas like this great spots to look for flounder it's kind of out of the main flow of current so bait that's getting pushed off in that current's gonna look for areas like this to kind of hang out at there went something too something grabbed me I'll flip back up in there. Something took my tail. Something took my damn tail. Told y'all something grabbed me, didn't it? Golly. Golly. Oh, something on. Got him. A little speckled trout. Definitely not what we were looking for. I mean, that guy is every bit of about 10 inches, y'all. See if we can't get him back in the water. See ya. When you're fishing areas like this, accuracy is key i mean you've got to have precision to be able to cast a, a good distance away from the kayak or boat but still stay in that strike zone right and you want to put that lure i'm talking about right as close to that grass line as you can without going in the grass you know because if you go something's got it got to use that or got grass i got grass so staying right there on the edge of the grass is, is, is critical and the more times you throw out there and get snagged and you have to go up and get your line you're wasting time that you're not continuing to move down this bank and you're missing gaps that you're not able to fish because you're running over it with your kayak trying to go get your lure or your jig back the perfect cast is far more important than the perfect lure it doesn't matter what lure you're using if you can't make the cast you're not going to catch the fish so and the thing about it is if you make the perfect cast fish will almost just about eat anything as long as you're in the strike zone did we just hook up we did what do we got flounder small 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 flounder Y'all check that out. Stud! <laughs> like I was saying, the perfect cast is way better than the perfect lure, even though we got a pretty good lure on here right now. Y'all check this stud out. This little guy matches the trout that we just caught. I mean, 
dude grow up get a little bit bigger we'll see you next time but yeah anyways it's a good sign that is a good sign dude that little dude got my goat man come on get out of here had to be a big old croaker did because it kept tap 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 y'all if you're flounder fishing red fishing whatever okay speckled trout flounder redfish if you're feeling anything that's that 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 or that that right that's really just nailing you that's not it's not any of those fish okay nine times out of ten it's a croaker pinfish or something like that um game fish aggressive fish they don't play with their food they take it right so whether it be a flounder and he grabs and he just holds to the bottom or trout and he takes it, you know what I mean, and, and your line starts moving or whatever, or a redfish just pulls down in one direction, they're not going to peck at their food, okay? Especially not the big ones. Perfect cast. Oh, I think we felt a thump. Maybe we didn't. I don't know, man. a good fish come on come on y'all that might be a big old flounder head shapes like a flounder felt the thump and i just went for it y'all if it's a flounder it's a stud it's holding to the bottom too get my net ready i mean i really had a good hook set there too that's gotta be a flounder y'all way it's fighting way it feels Be easy, tire down. I'm not gonna force anything here. He'll come up when he's ready. Oh my God, it'll flounder. Woo! Let's go. Come on, come on. Be easy, we don't have to force anything here. Golly, he's choked it too, he's good hooked. That's why we sweep through our hook sets right there. Boom! Mm, let's go! Oh, my little windsock fell off and got wet, so we won't be using that anymore today and y'all i ain't got no grips on me i left them in my boat all right it's gonna be dangerous trying to get this guy off y'all check that guy out right there oh my god look at that flounder y'all i don't have a board on me right now but he's over 20 inches. Not, not by a whole lot. It's not my biggest flounder. My, my PB flounder's 27 inches, but uh, good flounder. We're gonna put him in this box and uh, hopefully, hopefully get out here, make some more casts along these banks, catch some more. You ain't getting out, son. You ain't getting out. You ain't getting out. I ain't gonna go your ass back in there. Box, boy. <clears throat> Come to a creek mouth like this, you really wanna fan out, cause 
There could be flounder anywhere sitting in a creek mouth. Once it starts to kind of narrow up a little bit and actually kind of hit your first bend, I guess, then you start sticking back to the grass. But right now, definitely want to fish tight, or I'm sorry, spread out along the uh, creek mouth and just kind of fan out a little bit. Ooh, there you. Oh no, something just nailed it too, man. That was definitely, a, a, felt like a redfish to me. And you can see there's all kinds of reds, or what looks to be reds, tailing around the edge of that, that grass right there. There he is. Feels like a flounder. Feels like another flounder, y'all. And it's not, it is a small redfish. Fooled us. Y'all, I mean, we have got to have set a record today for the smallest slam ever caught. I mean, 14 inch redfish, 10 inch flounder, 10 inch trout. Insane, y'all. Little guy, beautiful blue tail on him though. All right, see ya. See ya. Oh, we got tailing, either a redfish or black drum, tailing on the rocks up here. Just barely saw the tip of his tail hanging off these rocks. Let's just throw up in there and see what happens. That's where he was at. Of course, I threw right on top of the dam. And there he is tailing right there and I'm snagged up. Jesus, Nate, let's see if we can't get a good shot of them for y'all. See that tail right there? Looks like it's a black drum. I threw it right on his back. Y'all, that is how you not sight cast a fish. Holy crap. Yeah, if you sight cast a fish, y'all, don't, don't throw it right on top of his head. Um, that's a good way to not ever catch a fish. Oh well. There he is. There he is. What we got? Trout, red, tiny red. Golly, y'all. Pretty guy, but holy moly, we gotta get some bigger fish. All right, so. I mean, that's how it goes sometimes. I mean, we had a good day on the water. Caught a really nice flounder. I mean, nice flounder. Um, I would have been happy with that flounder in any tournament. But the target was flounder, and when I'm targeting flounder, I do want to catch more than one legal fish. Um, we are in the right area. I, you know, given the conditions that the hurricane put off and everything like that, I'd say actually the trip went pretty well because 
when you get water that's come, that comes 10 foot out of the banks, you know, there's no telling where these fish can be relocated to. And, and you know, this hurricane hasn't been more than three or four days gone. And the wind's been kicked up every day. Storm surge has been pushed up. So a lot of, a lot of stuff has happened, but we did find that one good flounder, caught the other little flounder and a couple of other little fish. All in all, you know, I, I gotta call this a win. Um, granted, I wish we could have did better, but I always wish we could do better. Um, that, that's just how I am. But anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Once again, all of these spots are going to be on Patreon. So be sure to head over and check out our Patreon page to see where we caught these fish, the conditions, everything that has to go into the, the planning of this trip right here. Um, but yeah, hit that like button, comment with any questions, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.